Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diane Desiel and today I'm not alone. I have Sophie that's going to be my model. I'll take her body measurement so we could do her block. The first measurement I'm going to show you is not part of the PDF for the construction of the block. It's still a measurement that is quite useful. It's the height that you need to construct a hood and this is the minimum height so it's a good measurement to have the way to take it is to take your tape measurement pass it over your head and measure until those two little bones that you have at the neck in the front so you take the measurement completely like that i'm going to ask sophie just to turn around so you could see the tape and this measurement of course is the full measurement to construct your block the height will be half of that measurement. The next measurement is going to be to take the center back length measurement. And for that, you're going to have to place an elastic, a round one, if you have, uh, at the waist level. You ask also the person to move a bit so the elastic is going to place itself at the right position. Then you could take the measurement from the bone at the neck in the back just like that don't try to find a point it's a bone so try to find the middle it'll be good like that and you measure the center back following the shape of your body until the waist level the next measurement we'll take is the shoulder blade measurement so it's pretty much at the first quarter from the top first quarter of the center back so half first quarter this level more or less you're going to ask the person to lift their arm and bend towards the top, just like that. Even if the person has more fat body or less like Sophie, you should see or feel a deep part here in the body, just here and there. So you're going to measure at the first quarter from one depth to the other. And this is your shoulder blade measurement. The next measure is going to be the shoulder measurement. Here again, we, have, we don't have a point on the body, but we have two reference to imagine the neckline. It's the two bones here that you have in the front, and you have one that we also talk about in the back, so the round at the neck. You could imagine a line for your neckline, and at the shoulder level, you're going to measure the top of the shoulder, and for the end of your shoulder line, you could just place something straight or even your end just like that and another one like that. The intersection of the two reference is the end of your shoulder. Now we take the three horizontal measurement. I'm going to start with the bust measurement. Some people are asking me, should I put a bra or no bra? If you usually wear bra, you put it for the measurement taking. If you don't, then you don't put your bra because you want your block to fit you. To take the measurement, you go around at the strongest point of the body. Make sure it's at the strongest point and make sure it's parallel to the floor and you take your measurement. The next measurement that we'll take is the waist measurement. And for that, I'm going to ask Sophie to turn a bit from the side, lift her arm. I want you to look at the elastic. It's where the elastic fall naturally, and this is the waist. So if you notice, it's not parallel to the floor. It goes a little bit in an angle, and that's where you have to measure and how we get the measurement following the elastic. So you just take your measurement. The next measurement we'll take is the hip level. Here it's going to be in important that you try at more than one place because we need the strongest part of the body so it's possible that it goes even down from the hip the crutch level it's possible what's important is that you get the strongest point and that the line is parallel to the floor and you just take the measurement the next measurement we'll take is for the crutch height You'll use it to do the construction of the pant. And to do it, I'm going to ask Safi to sit down on a chair and just maybe move a little bit towards the left so I could see the chair. And we will measure from the elastic at the waist on the side seam 
until the chair level, so where she sits, and this is going to be your crutch level. For the construction of the pant, you'll also need the length of the pant, and you're going to take it from the side seam. So I'm going to ask Sophie to turn around. You take it from the waist on the side seam. In the document, I tell you to take it until two centimeters from the floor, but you should take it until the floor and minus two centimeter. The next measurement we'll take is for the sleeve. We'll take the wrist measurement and we'll take it at two different measure, two different area. First area is for a knit block. So you might need it for knit sleeve. You take it at just below the bone. And the second way you could measure is for woven fabric, for a woven sleeve, is to be able to pass your hand inside your sleeve. You take it as the strongest area of your hand, just like that, so it's much bigger. A last measurement we have to take, it's the apex to apex measurement. It's not a point on the body, so it's about the right measurement you're going to take and you'll make an average. So try to find the strongest point on both sides. Just take your measurement. A little smaller is better than a little bigger because bigger or larger apex to apex measurement is going to give the appearance of a larger bodice. So it's always better a tiny little bit smaller than bigger. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I see you next time.